All right, guys, Charles here. This is AP Micro 2024. This is set two, and we are doing number three, last one. Thank goodness. Back sacks are produced in a perfectly competitive market that has no externalities. Provide graph shows supply and demand curves. Calculate the total economic surplus at the market equilibrium. Well, you should know that total economic surplus is all consumer and producer surplus added together, which would be total surplus. If we find our equilibrium, we recognize that all of this triangle right here is consumer surplus, and all of this triangle here is producer surplus. Consumer surplus is anything above the price, but below the demand curve. And I always think of producer surplus as everything below the price, but above the supply curve. Helps us find it sometimes. All right, so it looks like it's just the area of a triangle, which is one half base times height. Looks like our height here is 120, and our base would be tick, 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 16. Let's pull out the trusty calculator. 120 times 16 is 1920 divided by two. Looks like it's gonna be 960. Again, you have to show your work, so make sure that you've done some math here so they can see it. To decrease the price of backpacks for students, the government, let's get rid of this, we don't need it. The government of Jumbo has decided to set a price ceiling uh, of $60 per backpacks compared to the market equilibrium. Will the quantity of backpacks increase, decrease, or not change? Explain. So, Equilibrium used to be at 90. Now the equilibrium price is 68 bucks. This is our price ceiling. Recognize what happens with that low price ceiling. Lots of people want this good. Quantity demanded increases to 24. That's our quantity demanded. But suppliers are going to supply less of this good. So suppliers will only supply eight. That's the new quantity supplied. Anytime quantity demand is greater than quantity supply, you definitely have what we call a shortage. And we can show our dead weight loss here. We recognize that all the people on the demand curve here are not getting any of this good. They are losing out. So let's read it again. Compared to the market equilibrium with the quantity of backpacks purchased, increase, decrease, or not change, it would definitely decrease. And we have explained that as the price ceiling lowers the price, supplier supply less of the good, now only eight units. Um, and therefore, that would all that can be purchased are those eight that are produced. All right. I hope that wasn't too wordy, but if that made sense uh, to you. Uh, cool. Let's keep going here. Number C. Suppose instead the government of Jambo provides a per unit subsidy of $30 to the seller of backpacks. So a subsidy is provided here of $30 to anybody who sells a backpack. Identify the price, calculate the total cost, what happens to dead weight loss. So let's come up here. First of all, this is the only subsidy question we have ever had, I think anywhere ever. I don't even think there's been a multiple choice question ever about subsidies. I do not have one and I have probably most of all of the F, I have all the FRQs and probably most of the multiple choice questions that I can put my hands on. So let's recognize what happens with a subsidy. First of all, I know that subsidy amount or price or whatever government subsidy is going to be the vertical distance between the two supply curves. So I know that I can start at equilibrium. I drop down 60 or th sorry, 30, which is the down to 60. I start at 75. I go down to 45. I start at 60. I go down to 30. Easy enough, right? So I can recognize that this is my new badly drawn, but go with me. That's my new supply curve. Easy enough. I recognize that this is going to be the new price with a subsidy. The price is going to be lowered at, to 75. And actually, with that low price, 20 of these goods are going to be consumed. So let's see if we can answer some of these. Identify the price paid by consumers. We said it's going to be 75. That's pretty slow. Calculate the total cost of subsidy to the government. The government is giving $30 to everybody who sells a backpack here. And that's 20 units of backpacks 
30 times 20 should be 600, I believe, if that makes sense to you. Does the dead per unit subsidy cause dead weight loss to increase, decrease, or remain the same? Recognize that here our socially optimal quantity was the original market equilibrium. And with the subsidy, with the $30 subsidy, the market is providing more than the socially optimal quantity. They're providing 20 units. So in essence, if I had to show my dead weight loss triangle, here's where we are right now. There at 16 units would be our socially optimal quantity. There's my dead weight loss. Obviously, at the 16 units, the market was doing its business. Everybody was happy. That is our socially optimal quantity. Then the government used resources, extra resources, $30 a pop, to get people to lower the price, to get the firms to lower the price and sell more of this good at that lower price. So too much of the resources, are that's what dead weight loss is implying, is there's some inefficiency here. The government has used resources to lower the price of these backpacks. And therefore, that's what causes that dead weight loss. So we know that dead weight loss has increased. And we would just explain that is the socially optimal quantity was the original market equilibrium quantity. With the $30 subsidy, the market provides more than the socially optimal quantity, increasing dead weight loss. I think that hits it okay. I think that's what they want. Again, we'll come back at this after they release the answers and see if we can't tighten it up a bit or just leave it the way it is. I think it's probably fine. All right, guys, keep working hard. You're doing fantastic. Be safe.